Oh, I like your dress. About yeah, time you wore something like that. I like your hundred dollar haircut. I don't. It matches your outfit. You do look unbelievable, but you are married with three kids, and I don't. So. I don't really think people want to see Hi, that. How Alison gets her kit off? Yeah, and she looks kids. like mutton. You're perfect in every way for me, but you keep fucking up. Tell me what I can do to make everything but better. This is the thing. Keep your fucking dick in your well, pants. There you go then. But you it. haven't. I lost my perfect husband because he betrayed me. And what's left is the shell of Kieran, who's still in my head. Perfect, good looking, does everything perfect. But then I look at you and think, but hang on, he's still been a devil. OK. So I'll what do I do? Up, and I'm sorry. So what do I do? What? You know, no, you need to tell me what to do because clearly... Well, no, because you've manipulated me so much that I'm in this rut to make me feel like... I haven't like... manipulated you at all. But you're clever. Well, how you clever. make me feel is... I'm not clever. I just look after everybody and everything. Yeah, that's what, what I, I, I do. You, I can employ someone to come and do exactly what you there do. There you go, then. That's fine, but then. I, what I'm trying to say, don't think... So why don't you? Why, what why do you, do you, why do you want to be with me? Because I love you. Oh, there you go, then. So you have to move forward. Yeah, but I can't. OK, well, then well, then you don't be with me. I shouldn't be with you because okay, of what well, you've done. OK, well, there you go, done. then. You shouldn't, shouldn't be with me. No, you I shouldn't. You're right. Better. Do you know what, Kate? You shouldn't be with me. Your mum the other day said, I'm surprised you're still with Kieran and you haven't left him. That's your mother. Even your mother is surprised that yeah, I'm with you. I know, you. I know. Because people think I'm a fucking mug staying with you. Well, you probably are. If you was me, and I'd fuck two of your best friends, and then someone we employed in the house to look after our kids, knowing really when you're not there, I'm fucking them. What would you do? You, you would I say fuck because, off? No, I don't know if I would. Yeah, I'd feel shit, I'd feel hurt, whatever. No, that, that's know. fine, but... But what would you do? I don't, I don't know would what I'd do, because I'm not in that... I, I, know. I don't know, because I'm not in that situation, Kate. This what I'm so that's it. I can't answer. I can't answer, because I'm not in that situation. But that's how I'm like. I don't know what to do. It's like, how many bullets do I take? How much more muggings should I have on my head? At the end of the day, Kate, I'm the one that fucked up, and I just hold my hands up and take it on the chin, and I want to move on. That's it. I don't know what to do. It's like I'm so broken. I do fancy you and I do love you. And you're perfect with every way, but you've fucked me over. It's so difficult. You know. Well, you want a pink one now? Listen, let me explain this to you, son. Hey, we're gonna, we're we gonna talk about weird. this, you right? Gotta be tough enough to wear pink. Pink See, look, now. right? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with pink, right? But. For you, black is better. You'll understand when you're older. Maybe if we watch Broke Brack Mountain. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He wants this. Oh, man. How, how about I use reverse psychology? Wow, that looks fantastic. Wow, that's great. Oh, I like that hat. Let's see if this works. <laughs> What about black and pink? Do you like black and pink? With the reverse psychology not working, Pete decides to take a more direct approach. Right, forget it. I don't know. But there was another shock to come, and she first mentioned it after a shoot for Loaded magazine. She was worried about Harvey's health. But you will find out something about him soon. Oh, is this what you were upset about this morning? Yeah, well, I will be for the rest of my life, but, you know... But it's not the right moment to tell you anyway. I wouldn't just tell it on camera, I'll tell you when the camera's off. Not for that fact, but I don't know what you'd say to it either. Once we were back at her mum's house and the camera was off, she told me that Harvey was blind. Little boy. This was one of the few moments in months of filming when Kate seemed completely alone. Do you ever watch any of your old reality shows back? I tell you what, I've seen a lot of old clips of your reality shows on TikTok lately. I have TikToks. Yeah, yeah I do. Junior, come on, get up, please. 
Can right, I get up? I want to show you something. Go on. Go with, go with Auntie Lady. Go on. <laughs> what did you just say? I said kiss girls on the lips. You want to kiss girls on the lips? You've only just met her. What did you say? He wants to kiss that girl on the lips, Layla. He's only just met her. Listen, Jay. I'll explain to you later, not now, about dating, right? If you're too keen, they don't want to know. So what you've got to do is you've got to lay back. He wants to kiss you on the lips, and I'm saying, no, he can't. <laughs> He's only just met you. I said, look, take her out for dinner first. You can't just... Let me belly dance for you first, Melina. Oh, you belly dance? Yeah, yeah. See, this belly dancer. Now, you wait till you see that. Then you're really going to want to kiss her on the lips. But you can't. Yeah. No. Yeah. Can I kiss or no? No, he's not going to say no to that. I've been telling you now. Go on then. Daddy. I don't know who's shy of me. Hey. No one's shy of me, mate. You're on your you own. You asked for that from the moment you walked in here and See? I gave it to you. You wanted to kiss when you first got in. No, I'm going to go to lips. You're not going to kiss oh, okay. to lips. Oh, okay. Is it okay with daddy? I don't mind. Go for it. Now you have lip gloss all over you. I got Yeah, I know you How do you do it? You're three. I'm 36 and I still struggle. What's going on? It's pretty good, man. A kiss on the first date. That's pretty good. In fact, a kiss before even your first date. That was like a, a pre date kiss. That's very rare. That doesn't happen a lot, you know. Three years old, oh, kissing yeah. a belly dancer on the lips. Three times. Three times? Not just. You know, okay, I'll give you a cheeky kiss. Can I have another one? Sure. I mean, kids go and get books from their older brothers on how to pick up girls. Now, there might be for the first time the first book written by a three-year-old. And it's called How to Pick Up the Girls by Slick J. Restaurant Passion by JJA. Put nail varnish on you. My Well, I don't like it, and that's coming off tonight. I'm not having you wearing nail varnish. Ow. That is for girls. Do you understand? When you walk down the street, people are going to go, "Ha! Ah, look at that girl." Is that what you want to be called, a girl? You do. How do I answer that one? You're a boy. Do you understand? You're a boy. And are you a boy? <laughs> I. Yes, yes, I'm a man. Well, I, yes, I am. Right, can I just explain to you? <laughs> if you're a girl, that means you can't kiss girls. And you have to kiss boys. Yes, and we don't want you to do that. And the reason we don't want you to do that is because you're three. When you're 33, you can decide what you want, but right now, you kiss girls. Do you understand? Really? How long are you staying for? Three months. It's been long. I used to live in Ireland for eight years. Did you? How long have you been in America for? Um, I was born here and then moved away to Ireland when I was like ten. Oh, so. okay. So that's why you've got an American accent. Yeah, I miss it. The Brits are the best. Just, you know, I miss the pub. You weren't that excited to see us when we came in. No, probably because there's an entourage. Oh, uh, I don't know. I just, I, a lot of my friends are celebrities, so I don't know. <laughs> I know. But yeah, it's great to meet you. You too. Pete's getting bored and restless, and the assistant has stopped being entertaining. Yeah, so tricks, there's only a few, but you definitely shouldn't try them. That's all it is. It's me cuddling you. You make an effort for once. Look at you, sitting there expecting it all. And what happens if you lean too far back? Too far back? It's just going to move backwards. Right, if you have to find a balance. Fine. Just show us how you do it again, please. How do you stand up straight? Lean it, lean it. Mm, look, look. Mm. He makes it look so easy. Oh, mm. So if I want to go this way instead of reversing, all I have to do is turn my body this way. Oh my god, all I got to do is just like turn out. Instead of reversing, you know what I mean? I got a lot of friends that are celebrities. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> it went, I want to go home. It went quiet. Tell you what, the oh. biggest knob ever doing that. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Totally. I don't really give a flying jizz. With the press watching on and security nowhere in sight, Katie's forced to make small talk. What did you guys want to do when you were younger? What did you want to grow up to be? What I'm doing. What you did, what you're doing. That's good, then you attained it. You, you have to work hard to get where you want. And now Pete's completely lost his patience with the situation. Like a hairdresser, you sweep the floor and then you end up blow drying. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, she started off sweeping, then she blew as well. Oh, wow. And that's make your way to the top like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's uh, and I'd start for portfolio casting. Junior's personality would probably be uh, in something in entertainment. Oh, I like your dress. About time you wore something like that. I like your hundred dollar haircut. I don't. It matches your outfit. What would I like him to do? A trade. If he learns a trade, he'll never go hungry. Even his extensions are slipping out. You know, and they cost four thousand dollars at the Beverly Wiltshire. Hair design. Graphic design, engineering. Yeah, and what about Princess? I hope she either becomes a nun or. Yes, I would, Claire. Yes, I wanted to be into dressage, ballet, or nunnery. That's it. They're the three things. And I hope Kate doesn't encourage her. Yeah, nothing wrong getting your tits out. You can forget that, I tell you now. I would over my dead body something like that. Pete, your wife does that. My wife did that. Your wife does that. Well, your wife ain't doing it in front of me. You don't have to look. You don't have to buy the max. Ugh. You do look unbelievable, but you are married with three kids, and I don't. So. I don't really think people want to see Anne that. How Alison gets her kit off? Yeah, She's and she looks kids. like mutton. Doing to look perfect for you, Pete. All I'm stunned she's been with. Why are you taking a piss? I know she's a merchant. You said every girl I've been with. You said Charlene was perfect. Okay, don't start this shit. Just. London to see Dr. Gibb again. I want you so bad. I'm really into you at the moment. Badly. Badly. And you feel like you're worse, and I I feel like this is where I want you the most. I'm not even kidding. What? Because I'm vulnerable? A little bit, because of the vulnerability side of it. I don't know, you're just, oh, you're just so voluptuous. It's like you're exotic and erotic and. Oh, I don't know. I want to eat you. Do you really fancy me? Really still? badly. You do fancy at me. Your, at your, what you feel at your worst is when I want you the most. Son, you are in the room where Daddy was first, right? Daddy had this coffee before meeting your mummy, right? Gave him energy to start thinking about making you. Do you understand? Yeah. Right. So then Daddy got a bit excited. Shut up. Shut up? What do you mean, shut up? Shut up. <laughs> do you know what? I keep getting battered by these kids. You don't say shut up. Okay, say sorry. Come on, come on, Ed, come on. No chance, mate. It's like buying crying kids. Fred, you are free. You are free. You. You actually punched me. So the girls have struck first. Share the news with Pete and Jamila. Yeah, tell me what's going on. So, um... I would love to go for lunch. She's not coming out. No, I know. Oh, she's Today. Going to, is she? Oh, what, you mean tonight? T today? No, she, she, she asked me to go and have lunch with her there, but I thought if we go have lunch, right, then I'll go and see her for a couple of hours after that, right. and then I'll go to the studio. She's feeling bad, mate. She does look, she looks bad today. What do you mean she's feeling bad? What's wrong with her? very uncomfortable. She's in a lot of pain, I think. She's in a lot of pain and she just, she looks bad today. Okay. So, obviously she's not coming out, so... Are you going to go and see her? Yes. Good. Of course. I think that's good. Well, but I... Because I, I, I she's to... missing you. I miss her too, of course. But I've been in such a zone trying to get this done. Um, and of course I will go see her. But I would love us to go eat first. Peter and Jamila haven't grasped the seriousness of the situation, so Nicola suggests Pete calls Katie. 
take her in some food and go and be with her for a little while. She's got to go back to the studio later. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Baby. Hello? What's wrong, babe? What's wrong? Got to get rid of that blackhead. It's massive. Massive. I mean, huge. I, I'm proud to show off that I, I do get spots. And... Oh. The thing I said to you was genuine. And can I tell you something? Well, I don't believe that until I'm out of bed. I just can't. Well, I'm not, I'm not interested anymore, mate. Okay. Cool. You know? Cool. I don't care anymore. Okay. You know why? Because one no. thing I don't need in my life is games. Are you a McDonald's or KFC or Burger King? It depends. If I've got a hangover, it's McDonald's and it'd be a quarter pounder of chips and a medium chocolate milkshake. If I, mm, if don't I, mess around there, No, so. no. <laughs> <laughs> or do you like the finger licking good? Well, if it's a Friday after work, I mean, Harry can't be bothered to cook. I'm like, I'll get a KFC and I'll have a bonus banquet with beans and a diet Pepsi. So I don't go do the bonus. I like the drumsticks. I only want drumsticks. Then I'll get the corn on the cob. Oh, yeah, I'll get yeah. two corn on the cobs. I love it. Gravy for the chips. Ugh. And I love the drumsticks. Or a Zinger burger. Yeah, McDonald's, I'm bored of because I've got one up the road. It's just there. I don't think I ever want to see a McDonald's again what, unless what they want to sponsor uh, me. As I said, double whoppers. What is your... <laughs> go, Harvey, Harvey, are you patronising me? Fuck off! Hiya. Hi. We've got a blow drive. Oh, papers in my eyes. Hiya. Who'd you say hiya to anyway? Kate, who was hiya to? Hello? Who'd you go hiya to? I heard it. Who did you say? Oh, fuck's sake. That's me. No, she didn't. Peter gets his revenge with a very intimate impersonation of Jordan. Okay, that, swear on your life, nothing crossed. What? She farted. Look at her. Look at the guilt on her. F that is disgusting. Absolute vile. Atrocious. <laughs> I didn't fart. He's just saying that. It's because he farted and he knows he smelt that he was trying to clear the room quick. You bloody liar. Swear really? on your life, nothing crossed. Swear on your life, nothing crossed. I have not farted. Do you know what? I don't like you swearing on your life. That's bad. That's really bad. Swear you do on that my all. life over a fart. Yeah, well, you shouldn't do that. I haven't. <laughs> You're a liar, man. Look at him. Look no, at that stroppy Look. What are you touching over there, Pete? I'm getting my laptop. What? Go on Twitter's? Yes, yeah. I am. Well, we're taking the kids now. Oh, well, when we do. Oh, be ready. Piss off. Take that back. Take that back, no. Pete. No? She grabs my cock like this, obviously, and goes... What's with the face? Pete? This is Kate. Hi, baby. Here we go. Why do you put me down? It's in your ass. Is it in yet? Uh, and it doesn't mean my knob's small. It means your ass is big. My phone, a uh, text came through, right? Three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and she went, to my watch. she went, who's that? And I went, I don't know. And she went, I bet you it's someone coming out of a club texting you, right? I went, oh, whatever, don't be silly. Then this morning, she's putting on her makeup to go for a horse lesson. I mean, really doing herself but up. Wait a second, wait a second. Just wait. And, and I said to her, why are you putting makeup on just to go horse riding? And then she said, well, no, it's because da 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 da. Because what? Because of, we're filming and I can come back. But listen to this. My point is, when she asked me the question about my phone last night, I just went, oh, don't be stupid. Okay. When I ask her the question, wait, 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 in a minute. When I ask her a question, she goes, what do you mean? Like, really gets up me as if she gets really defensive. And I'm like, okay, whoa, so I'm whoa, whoa. my lashes on every day now. No, I'm, it's my Guess point what? I'm going to wear makeup every single day. Okay, that makes me listen, feel better. Wait. 
what I'm trying to make a point is that it, she can't have her way of have, saying to me, who's that? Why is this? Why is that? And show her but jealousy. it's not unnormal and to yet, wear makeup, but it's, it's unnormal not, for no, a it's not. at three in the no, morning. No, it's not when I'm getting texts from Australia, well, it's you not. show me. Did you say show me? Yes. Swear on your life you said, said show well, who me. who is it? And have a look. Oh, I don't know. Hey, you know what? Kate was winding me up all day. She just looked so sexy. And I, I just said to her, you, you, you got to stop this shit now. you got to do it. I said, I know I sound like a forceful man. But two months in, you got to do it. Where are we going now? We're going to a card shop, Pete. Oh yeah, I've got to buy a card. Oh, yeah. I find it so like, okay, why well, am I so yeah, down we'll about well. buying a card? If Kate bought me a gift, I wouldn't be going, where's the card? I'd be like, what the fuck? Oh yeah. It's the words in the card though, that you've actually gone out and looked for something that is associated. Right, this is really dirty what I'm going to say and really filthy, uh -huh. but I would much rather be inside her, holding her close, looking in her eyes. And do you have to say her, that bit? You couldn't you just stay inside her, of it? Couldn't you what just I like... feel, and as I'm just about to finish, I'm going to go, look at me, look at me. Pete, I love you with I do every not... little bit of my uh, heart. I do not want to be sitting next to you while you're doing this. It's so disgusting. Don't touch you me. can do that with don't Kate, not with me in the car, Peter. Don't, touch me. Don't, touch me. Don't, even, don't even put the camera on me Keep because I'm not being involved in this conversation. Keep it's gross. Me. Stop me. it. Wait, wait. Peter! Oh, he's imagining it. That's so disgusting. I'm really sorry, viewers, that you have to watch this. I love you. And although she was happy to go home, she missed Pete and the kids. So does the house look any different? Okay. Horrible. Why? But you lot there. Is it quieter without me? Not saying in a good way or bad way, but Okay, it's can I be honest with you? You've missed my moaning, missed my nagging, no, and it hasn't no, been stressed no, out. No, I definitely don't miss your nagging and your moaning. I can promise you. Oh, shiza, manaza. But, but the truth of the matter is, I've been that busy, I haven't had time. No, if I'm being honest with you, I've been working so hard. Do you know what I've been doing, Kate? And they're really going to go for a woman with three oh, kids. Oh, I haven't done bad. They're going to so, go for the other hot the... dancers that are 22 year old. He's on about dancers. Yeah. So what? At least I've had a life and I've lived. And you know what? For me, if a guy to come with me to have three kids, they're a very special guy. Yeah. So they'd Good be well worth having. <laughs> Good luck finding them. I, I wouldn't him. knock it, Pete. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't knock it. Because you're still a man with three kids. Yeah, I am. So? And they're my kids, so, so it's different. So? Katie's due to be interviewed at 5 p.m., but back in the dressing room, she's received a call from Pete, who's lost his car keys. OK, Pete, so what do you want me to do? Oh, there's nothing I can do, I'm here. Pete, there's no signal on my phone. Pete! This is what you, all you men are like. He stresses me because he can't find the car okay, keys. Just what would do. I'm late for the studio. I can't find the keys, so it's my fault. I thought Mike took I thought he was going to the studio at lunchtime. Is he still not gone? I'll do that till five. Oh. It's impossible. Is he taking the piss out of me or what? You have to pick up the kids at 5.30. I'm really late and have to take nanny car. There is no other way. <sighs> Help. What, what am I supposed to do? Just say, Pete, you're the one that's lost the keys. Right. Um, Domestic number one for the day. Uh, just so I can always arrange him a car for, to the studio. I don't... This is what Pete does before my signings. Anything. He puts stress on me like this. And it's not even... It's really out of order. It is out of order. I've already just... Oh, if only we could have a fire like this every night. Anything else you want to burn? Yeah, you. I love you. Love you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. No. Here is the star of the show, Santa Baby. 
Good. You know your mother's here, didn't you? Oh, of course I'm going to get called a bad mum. I'm prepared to take it. The battle starts. <laughs> I don't care if they call me a bad mum. Because I, I, they're not the ones living with me. They'll probably see me out. Yeah, of course. Every time I go out, they're going to be like, Oh, she's left her baby at home. So fucking what? I'm allowed out. All right, be different if I'm out every night of the week, then I can understand it. But you know, I'm, I am allowed to go out, and I will go out, whether they call me a bad mum or what. Katie Price is a 24-year-old single mum from Brighton, but she's famous for being Jordan, Britain's most successful glamour model. Sexy and provocative, her enhanced figure and outrageous lifestyle make her a tabloid writer's dream. I've been filming with Katie Price for two years. The first film showed the truth about the Jordan phenomenon. The modelling, the tantrums and the wild nights out. She let me film everything. I'm pissed as a fart but I'm still walking. Then there was Katie Price herself, walking the dog. Sunday lunch with her mum. Please don't show like, that I'm yeah. not eating my dinner with them hanging out. Getting burgled. Look that fucking mirror. Look, you bitch. You slag, look. Breaking up with her footballer boyfriend, Dwight York, and then finding out she was expecting his child. That's his head and his arms are sort of like that. So there's the proof I'm not lying. That was the first year. And now as she celebrates turning 24, here is the story of the second year. Just as frank, just as honest, and even more revealing. Can I make one wish? Is it midnight yet? You mustn't tell anybody. No, no, no. no. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all right. You, you probably all know what I'm going to wish for. Well. Just start yeah, at midnight. Ready? Get it. Fingers crossed. You've got big enough lungs. Okay, I'm not available. So how are you looking? How, how, what sort of how shape am I looking? What shape? Well, can't you see I'm sitting here with this gut hanging and I've got, well, I've got seven days to go. Are you very nervous? Yes, Richard, I'm nervous. All right. <laughs> oh, no. Hmm. I'm shitting myself, actually. <laughs> With only days to go to the birth, the paparazzi were following her every move. Apparently Dwight York was questioning whether he was the father. There he is at the top of the road. So when you see men sitting in the car on their own, like that this time of day in the street like this, you know that something's weird. I think so. There were photographers outside the house when she turned up with two friends and myself in the car. Kate asked me to try and get rid of them. There we go. Does this happen all the time at the moment then, Kate? It's just, the thing is, you know, they're going to get their pictures. Why stress me out? Just point them out to me. That one behind, I'm not getting out until that you That one in the her. green car, greeny blue car over there, and that one behind. She'll come to the front in a minute and then I won't be happy. You just film her. her. And say hello, I'm from the BBC. Is that a woman? Yeah. Yeah, can, please, Rich. Is it a woman? I won't get out <laughs> until. I'm not, because I don't want to be pictured. Get out and what film her and say? say, could we ask what you're doing? I'm from the BBC. Well, I'm not getting out until Richard's film her. Yeah. Come on, Richard, I'm going to go now. Go Are you photographing Katie Price? It's all right, can you take her away? My efforts were in vain. So it was left to Roxy to sort him out. No, he's still there taking pictures. Can we go away? Yeah, we're getting your car and drive off. That's the way, mate. Oh, he's not getting pictures of her then. All right, we'll just drive off, mate. You're not going to get anything, are you? All right, let's drive off then. Running quick. There's no one. <laughs> Later that evening at her mum's house, the subject of Dwight came up. Kate doesn't want him back, but her mum Amy is still hoping they've got a future together. 
how many times have you met him? About three. Two or three times, isn't it? Oh, wow, that's a lot. Three times, isn't it? Oh, wow, that's a lot. You don't have to be nice to the camera just because you think he could be watching. You know he's been an arsehole. Yeah, he has been, but at one time. Oh, he has been nice. Yeah, he has been nice. We're only going by what we see. Yeah, we're only going by what we see. When he's come down, he's been quite a gentleman. Well, he's not going to be horrible. But he would be, wouldn't he? He's never been up there. I mean, we obviously did arrange to meet him up there, but he did let us down. What I think out of this should come, you've got this baby's going to be here. He's the dad. He's going to be around. And therefore, I think he's entitled. You know, I don't think it's worth. Um, making things unpleasant because he's going to be around a long time and I hope he does take an interest in the baby because he is the dad. 100%. If well, he's I not involved he then he hasn't got a say. Well, yeah, well, At the well. moment he hasn't got a say on the name or anything because why should he? He hasn't been there. Later on if I know he proves himself and he sees his son then yes we can come to arrange at what school and that he goes That's to. Fair enough, but then. until then and he proves himself he's not having a say I'm afraid. He's still the dad. I'm not saying he's not the dad am I? Remember, I'm, I'm the one who's carried this child and he hasn't been there. I've gone through the hard work. He hasn't. I've had to try and work and support myself, even though it's my body, it's my living, and you can't exactly work with a bump, can you? I've That's had fine. to try and manage. It's not a problem. Without his help at all, he hasn't calm offered. Down. Calm down. Calm down. I'm not stressed yet. You'll know oh, when I'm stressed. Sounds like it. You know when I'm stressed because my voice gets higher and louder. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just making a point. No. And you obviously both agree because you're not quick to answer back. At six o'clock in the morning, I got a call from the house. Kate was going into hospital to be induced. Can you two shut up, please, actually? What? Nearly. Oh, nearly, Mum. I'm eating my breakfast, if you don't mind. There's no rush, Mum. I'm not going to rush just to have a needle put in me. Kate insisted on driving the family to the hospital herself, and I squeezed in the boot. As we arrived, she saw a photographer lurking at the entrance. See you later. Right, get in. Paul, get in. Why? Is he fucking sick? Leave him, leave him. Paul, leave. get in. I'm going the other entrance. They're not getting their picture and their money. Kate was furious and executed a quick three-point turn, and we sped round to a side door. Oh, I, I just go in there, right? Do you know I mean you're going to get caught going in anyway? Don't Jesus! I can hide still. I might be in there already. Oh, does it really matter? Well, now, calm down. Do you... We calm down. Just, just shut up in. then. Yeah, now go in. Right, go I am. Can you bring box? my bag? Yeah, yes. Just go in. family piled out and made a dash for it. I didn't get a chance to wish her good luck. Shortly before midnight, Dwight York turned up. I filmed him and a Sun journalist asked him for a quote. He didn't say anything. But I was told later that he was angry about being filmed, and so were the family. At 1 a.m., baby Harvey was born. In the morning, Kate's manager Dave Reed was up early, orchestrating the security guards for Kate's grand exit. She'd signed an exclusive deal with a magazine and no one was allowed to get a picture of Harvey. Like I say, you, you're going to stand back a bit. They're going to have to be a bit closer because we don't want the pictures of the baby, but you can stand back because we'll let, uh, let them have that tip. Mm -hmm. OK, so meet here for four. No problem. When she came out, Harvey was hidden from the cameras beneath a blanket. And after filming Dwight, I wasn't very popular. 
bad boy you are. You hate me. I do today. You're a bad no, boy. No, only because Richard, I'm really am not because you saw no, my no, eyeballs. I've had no sense. You're only doing this bit. You're not coming back and doing any more, are you? Tomorrow. Tonight. No, 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 right. No, no. Good. Tomorrow. You can. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. I'm just trying to do my job. Yeah. I know. Keep going down. You leave me tomorrow, which is when I you interview. I can't be talk properly in the minute because I'm not with it. But Stand still. The pain of that, my God. Are you coming back, Tony? Yes. Come back and have a cup of tea. I followed Kate outside, where she posed briefly for the papers. Oh, well, we're between you and I being inside then, yeah? Yeah. yeah. But I'm relieved. Yeah. Oh. He's doing very well. We both did very well. That, yeah, it was brilliant. Thanks very much. The next day, I got my first sight of Harvey. Is he, is it, does he look like what you expected? I suppose he does, in a way, yeah. Um, he was up three times last night, and I hate being interrupted with my sleep, <laughs> I must admit. I'm still absolutely knackered now. I haven't caught up with my sleep yet, as you can see by the bags and under my eyes. But, um, I can't wait to get back to work now. I'll tell you that now. And you'll be coming with me. It got to a point I said, please, don't be cruel to me. I need the epidural. And, um, and then she said, no, you've gone too far now. You can't have it. And then I started cursing them, going, you're so cruel. I'm in pain. How can you do this to me? It's interesting, isn't it, that you chose not to have a cesarean, which is like some, some sort of celebrities have been criticised for that, I haven't think, they? Yeah, look, I... Like the uh, midwives were telling me, they're so pleased that I did go natural. And not only that, the fact that, because I have had surgery, people would probably think, oh yeah, she'd book in a cesarean, I mean a cesarean, because, you know, she's had all this surgery and whatever. And it just goes to prove, you know, that when something natural has to come out, then I will do it natural if I can. Everyone said they can't imagine me being a mum. But I think I've coped all right. Well, this is just the beginning, <laughs> just the beginning. Just a couple of weeks after giving birth, it was time for Jordan to get back to work. She'd come to London for a meeting with Dave Reed. He does a smelly one. Does it make you sick? Well, members are cool, but I don't. Oh, I don't care. I honk. If Can't he's be the... worse than horse shit. If he's no member two, I honk. <laughs> you won't. Oh, well, I have to go to the toilet. I'll get you to change it, God, jeez. You're a dad, Dave. Yeah, I am, but I tell you, I couldn't change a nappy. Well, oh, you've weaved enough, in it? What? Oh, don't show his willy on camera, Richard. You can't see it from this angle. OK, you sure? Cos he's got a big one. <laughs> <laughs> During the meeting, she revealed Dwight was seeking a DNA test to prove he was the father. She took it as an insult. He's talking about his christening now, he wants to start getting his christening organised. And I'm like, he really confuses yeah. me. You know, he wants to do now, then he wants to sort his christening out. Yeah. But I've said I don't want his people there, and I've said it on camera, and I don't care, I'll say it to their faces, yeah. making me do that, humiliating me. I think yeah, it's, it's disgusting, right. really. Yeah, 100%, yeah. But, you know, I'm not asking for anyone's opinion, that's my own. Cool. But still. It's got to be done within two weeks. You yeah. both have to go for that, don't you? I don't, but he does. He does, I mean, yeah. yeah it's all to do with the swab of the mouth. They swab of don't they? Yeah, just to put a swab in there. Afterwards, I asked her about the DNA test. Yeah, like I say to Dwight, do you believe he's yours? And he's like, well, of course, cool, so do you think I'll be here now? I said, well, you know I'm not slag and I don't sleep around or anything. He says, I know that. Do you think I'll be here now if I didn't know that? And it's like, well, tell your agents that he should stand up to him and say, no, she shouldn't have to do a DNA because I know he's mine. That's really what the case should be, but it's not. But let them have their DNA, then they can stick it up their ass. Don't expect me to talk to them again. And I mean that. And I've said that to Dwight.
A few days later, I met up with Kate in Cornwall. She'd been booked to make a personal appearance at a nightclub in Newquay. It was the first work she'd done since becoming a mum four weeks earlier. Harvey was being looked after by his grandma. Dave Reed and her best friend Sally were also there. Everyone was in high spirits. Let's jump in the you didn't cut the film. Jump on. Kate was in the mood for winding me up. Is that what you wear when you do a PA? Yeah, I'll just go like this. Do you? Well, what do you think I do? I don't know, I thought you'd wear, like, clothing. Oh, then I go like this to my PA. You don't. I just put a pair of heels on. Look, my diamonds, to match my diamonds. I'm all bling bling today. <laughs> wait, wait, oh no, what have I got hanging out? <laughs> what are you laughing at? This is it, I'm ready. Ta da! <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> What's so oh, funny? Richard! I'm coming. Just go. See you later, I'll work with me. I'm almost well. Are you Hi. not coming? Fuck off, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm prepared for these men tonight. Do you want to eat anything, Sam? I do feel a bit hungry, okay, but we'll see. Little, let's see how it goes to the top. Yeah, yeah it's little nibble, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is that you're putting on? Perfume. God, oh, I know, it puts loads oh, on. I don't do too. perfume like anything. But you know, you know when they talk to you people, it's nice to smell nice around your ears. Right. Right, I'm ready now. Why are they booing? Don't they like that? Make some noise for the new guys. How to split up as you guys. Peg or two because you're two up your own ass. You're two up your own ass. Yesterday, we had a big kind of row, and then we had a discussion Ouch. with the management. And uh, and they said, So, what exactly is your problem? And she goes, It's Pete. He makes filming impossible. <laughs> I just went, What? He goes, yeah, It's all Pete. I love filming, but I just don't like filming with Pete. And I went, why? What do I do? You make me really stressed. <laughs> what have I done? I know occasionally we disagree on things, I understand, but Flair Pennell blaming me for her moody TV appearance. Yeah, I've heard it all, haven't I, Jay? The game to play with Junior. Can I ask you something? Who is. Katie Price. Um, mommy. Good boy. Who is Jordan? Yeah. Who? Hey. Who's Jordan? John. You don't know who Jordan is? No. Oh, good boy, you'll know when you're older. <laughs> hey, can I just show you something really quick? Yeah. Junior, what's Daddy's name? Um, Peter Andre. What's Mummy's name? Um, um, why? Yeah, what's Mummy's name? Yeah, it's not important, is no, it? No, no, listen, I want to explain oh, something. Oh, what's oh, Mummy's name? It's not really important, is it, Jeff? Why? Don't worry about it. No, don't no, 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 no. It's just the moment. But she ain't going anywhere near my daughter until she's 38. 38? 38, and that, they can go for a date. It's going to be tough work, I know it. She might want to be a nun. Now imagine, how proud must a dad be when his daughter comes up and says, Dad, I want to be a nun. No. I'm honestly. How do you say, I want that one. <laughs> 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 you look a bit Matt Lucas-y, eh? No, he doesn't. He does a bit, it's just like that. Right?